In this session, we'll introduce the BioStrings package. This is a package that contains functionality for representing and manipulating biological strings in Bioconductor. By biological strings, we mean DNA strings, RNA strings, or amino acids. We construct a BioStrings or a DNA string by using the DNA string operator, which constructs a single a string. This looks very much like a character vector, but behind the scenes there is some functionality that makes it efficient for dealing with either very long strings, for example whole chromosomes, or millions of strings like we see for short reads. There's also something called a DNA string set, which is a collection of DNA strings. These, uh, the, these uh, sequences doesn't have to have the same uh, length or width. Um, and, uh, uh, and for DNA strings, they are constrained to have elements in the IUPAC code. The IUPAC code is a way of representing uh, uh, um, strings with a little bit more granularity. So, for example, we can see from this code here that M means the A or the C nucleotide, the H means the A, C, or T nucleotide. When we substring, subset a DNA string, we get a subsequence out. When we subset a DNA string at set, we get another DNA string set. We can also get a DNA string out of a DNA string set. We have to select a single element and we have to use the double brackets. This is very similar to what happens with lists in base R, where we, and, and the difference between a list with one element and the element itself. We can put names onto a DNA string set. And use the, those and use these names to subset uh, the uh, the string as expected. Now there's a number of convenience functions for DNA strings. We have things such as width, that tells us uh, the number of bases in the in, in in the string. We can sort them. Not clear what that's always useful for, uh, and we can reverse them. Here you want to be careful with reversion, where reversion of a DNA string set just means give them in a different ordering, whereas reversion on a DNA string actually reverses the string as a biological operator. Another way of get the reversion is, is use the reverse operator that gives you the true biological reversion uh, for even for DNA string set. We can use other biological operators such as reverse complement and we can do things that only make sense for a DNA string such as translating it into a protein. In this case here we get an error message uh, or we get a warning message for two out of the three strings because they are not multi the, the width of the strings are not multiplies of three. For, uh, we know that amino acids or DNA strings are DNA nucleotides are translated into amino acids uh, one codon at a time. There's also a set of functionality for counting uh, letters and nucleotides, dinucleotides, trinucleotides, and general oligonucleotides. Uh, I use this uh, quite a bit. So al alphabet frequency gives you um, a general frequency table. which for each uh, string tells you, or each, um, uh, each, uh, yeah, each string tells you how many elements of the, how many occurrences of the different letters do we see. Uh, often we're interested in doing something simple, for example, like computing um, 
uh, GC content of a string, we can do that using the letter frequency uh, function, where we uh, give it a we give it a, some input and then we tell it which letters do we want to compute. Do we want to count? This means we are counting both G and C. So in other words, we get the GC content. Um, we can also get higher order nucleotides. So we can get dinucleotides frequency. Let's see. Uh, DNA 2. Where we now get all dinucleotides. We can get trinucleotides and we can get more general oligonucleotides. The output starts to get pretty big when we start to have like 8 months or 12 months or 32 months. Finally, there's a function called a consensus matrix. Which uh, details for each position. In this case, there's five positions because the longest string had five elements. It tells us how many elements, how many strings had a specific nucleotide of that position. So we can see all the first, all the three uh, uh, strings started with an A. This is useful when you build up position weight matrices or motifs for transcription factor binding sites. So this was a short introduction to uh, biostrings. Besides DNA string, there's a, an RNA string and an AA string for amino acid strings. There's also a general B strings for biostrings or uh, let me say it differently, a B string is a string over any type of character. And finally, in the documentation, you'll sometimes read about an X string. An X string is just any type of string. So a DNA string, RNA, amino acid, or a B string.